normally those odds reflect the done deal. We're just starting off the second map here. You're not wrong. All right, well, let's see what this pistol round has in store for us. Tyloo have a lot of utility. They've won all of their pistol rounds so far. Can they make it five for five? Eternal Fire yet to win a pistol round. Can they make it yeah, one from cra five? Crazy as well, considering the, the uh, first bullet aim of some of these Eternal Fire players. Van Torres looking for that information, and he'll see a couple of heads running through bathrooms and up divider. But he's been forced all the way back into bank. The utility has been used by Advent. A couple of flashes of smoke toward Dumpster. That has cleared out the site. A plant will be allowed. Advent will get it down, but there are three players with Tunnel Fire here about to burst through bank. Yeah, and they've also got a kit in play on Major. Smoke in tow. So it's going to be tough. All ten players left alive. Firefight's about to break out left, right, and center. And they're all going Tyloo's way. Wow. So much damage done. They don't even lose a single player in the process. Um... Of course, it can, it can be tough to you know, wake yourself up in the morning. A cold morning here in Yongshiping. Lots of snow around. It's very pretty. But it's time for Eternal Fire to make some pretty shots happen. Oh, man. And look at this jump spot from Kaze. The nades have had to be <laughs> blowing the smoke oh, open. And it's absolutely textbook. That's CS2 in a nutshell. So well worked there from Zantares. Great timing as they clear out the smoke as well. He knew there was one there for a fact. Walks away with two and that's the perfect start to this round. I love to see the proactivity there from Eternal Fire as well. Completely disrupting Tyloo's setup. Advent. Oh, that body blocking in the smoke. Surely Wikadia <laughs> realizes it. And yes, the hug is no more. The state it was launched in. We had our lovely little Alan's Corner skit on the couch at the beginning of the broadcast, which uh, we had some fun with. Lots of improvements lately, and they're coming thick and fast, which is great to see. It also just shows you how much people despise change, though, man. Because yep. it's like, oh, no, this is going to be the worst thing that's ever happened to Counter-Strike. And it's like, <laughs> this is actually kind of cool, man. I'm having fun with this. So, yeah, just got to be more open-minded in general, I think. Yeah. Gamers for you. Kaze is a gamer. That is a lovely shot to deal with Zantaros. And that, his favorite position there, Watsik, with his AWP. Now, this is certainly an AWPers map. We didn't see it much on Vertigo until the very end. But we'll know the AWP can do so much work and has done for so many years. And Woxic has done for so many years on this map. Great pick and response. He tries to catch another as they make their way down toward Connector. Jamyoung actually almost getting away with two there. Kalex only just got that trade. It's down to Acadia in water on the beach oh. side. That's going to be a really nice HE and it removes Kaze. Major will peek off the back of it. So it's down to Mazea. 1v3 it would be. He needs to go and pick up the bomb. That's going to take so much time. He's got no utility to recross. But of course, Kalex is so low. So Eternal Fire going to play this one safely. Yeah, he will be able to activate the C4. You say it's going to be a safe approach, Mosia. Oh. oh, so close there on the transfer. You'd expect the hedge to have some clipping, but it uh, it does not. That it used just to have more in CSGO, through. I think. I think so. so. It was quite common in CSGO. Yeah, it's like Zantara's. a risk-free nade now. Yeah, Zantara used to throw that one a lot. A little bit nervy, I guess, in that instance. He was a little bit late to mid, so decided against it this time. Strafed back away. Which is a good option. You've got to have that internal clock in your mind and kind of understand what you might be exposing yourself to, what the risks are. Yeah. Once again, Advents and Connector, right? I mean, I've brought it up already. The desk brought it, brought it up. And, well, once again, they'll try and clear it out to contribute to their control toward A, because this time the back of that connector control, they have three long instead. Yeah, good control being found here by Tai Lu. And I think they are going to end up on the safe bomb site, but Eternal Fire are well prepared to deal with this. They have got three players leaning in towards the side of the map, including the orb of Woxic. They're going to continue to chain smoke in towards bathrooms, and now Woxic can have his impact, but this is the follow-up shot. Great kill from Mosea, and that's going to ignite this commitment. Yeah, Zantara is still here, but look at the fire, just absolutely all over the bomb site. It's ladening it. And Mazea will catch Zantara as a major in what felt like no man's land. Kalix, Wikadia remaining. Wikadia cannot complete the kill on Jam Young, and I'm surprised he went back for more on that one. Roll we're we're with professional punches. Yeah, we do what we must, man. <laughs> Woxic. This time he maybe will be the want to be the one to go for that jump peak. Over the top of the hedge, but I'll just play it safe for now. Going for a bit of a bathroom setup. 
This is fast. This is really quick. Woxic's going to hear these footsteps as well. Ooh. Great position. Frag found his counterpart, Xantares, might have to join him here in the defense, although wow. maybe not. Woxic single-handedly able to lock it down. Finally, the trade will come through from Kaze, but Xantares, as expected, gets in on the mix and advent. Well, basically no chance here in this one versus four, and this round's for the lead. Not point, not, 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 not one percent chance on this one, I'm afraid. So if, you're saying there's a chance. If that. <laughs> <laughs> if they yeah. all crash on the side of Eternal Fire, is that is that the chance? Maybe. Maybe. You know what? I've seen it before. I've seen it before in professional games. It can't yeah. But obviously then the round wouldn't be live. Go on, Advent. Hit that not point not 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 one percent. I believe in you, son. Major will go down first. But of course, the problem for Advent is that. Bomb is not in his possession, and he'll get caught in the side by Wikadia. And entries can be, I would say it's a little bit like Grigor Dimitrov being compared with Roger Federer, if there are any tennis fans out there. But either way, Boxic. That's a slam dunk. That is a slam dunk. Well, that's a volleyball reference, I guess. So, missing that one. What's it called in, in tennis? You, you've got the, uh, you've got the smash. Smash, slam, the smash, that's the one. Yeah, yeah. You, when you, it's an overhead. It's yeah, smash, exactly. Yeah. And the serve is... There's no coming back from that, man. When someone slap, smashes the ball, that's, uh, that's yeah. game over. Unless you're Gail Monfils. There are some famous clips out there. I'm sure there are some aficionados out Listen, there. Listen, Roger Federer is half South African. Did you know that? His mother is I South African. Didn't, I actually didn't know that, yeah. weirdly. At the Rugby World Cup, he was there sporting a South African shirt, man. So Here that's one of our claims to fame. There we go. All right, well... South African pride. Last round of the half here, Trav. And this has kind of snowballed a little bit for Tai Lu. Sure, it can still be 7-5, which is a very respectable halftime scoreline T-side overpass, but 8-4 would be fairly bleak, I reckon. Yeah, Tai Lu, I think it, for me, it feels like on, right now they're on the edge of being eliminated from this tournament. It really feels like they need this last round, but Major and Wakadia are sorting it out nicely. And it's a 5v2 off the bat, it feels like. Kaze is now the last one alive. Nice kill in toward Connector. Ooh. And we'll get the follow up on Kalix too. He's still got 100 health, but Major is still hiding in water. But I think now he knows the location of these final two players. Unfortunately, it's impossible to penetrate as they'll peek off the back of each other. Zantares. Man deficiency for them. No utility further either or upgraded pistols. And Tyloo know exactly what's going on. They've got the defense padded up on this B bomb site and Eternal Fire. They decide to cancel in the 11th hour. And it's weird, you don't usually often see a cancel on the pistol round like this. Usually just brawling your way back in is the way to go, but they're happy to slow down the clock, of course. Oh, Pistol I rounds love aren't just a rush, and yeah. this could be pretty a pretty interesting change up here. Tyloo are thinking, okay, because they've pulled out so aggressively, there must be somebody that they're trying to rotate in towards here. Yeah. And Wikadia kind of sells the fake even further with that presence in towards lowers. I actually really like this approach out of Eternal Fire. Bluff and double bluff and sometimes triple bluff on these rounds where you pause, make no sound and go again. And it honestly sh very well might net them a bomb plant here, which would set them up well for the second half anyway in that second round, even if they are to lose this. Advent toward heaven. We've got the bomb carrier in Woxic shifting up toward his position. Spots two players. I think he'll realize now what's going on and Woxic will realize as well and realize that Advent... Oh my goodness, oh, that wow. old man <laughs> straight down from heaven. I thought he was going to say wait for his teammates, but no, he does not care one jot. Now, what oh. can Eternal Fire do? The kills are finally coming in for them on pistol rounds, and Kalix will swing one each for him. Wakadia and Wokstick, it's down to Mercury. One versus two, two players in front of him. Lots of bullets, of course, with these duelies. And look how close Wakadia is. Three bullets left in the clip. It's a dance round pillar, and now it's have to, <laughs> it has to be Wakadia. To a BO3, where they'd have to do it twice over somehow to win out that match for the playoffs. I wouldn't count Nouns out, honestly. Absolutely not. They've been showing some great stuff in yeah. this tournament so far, and I, and I really am hopeful for them that they're going to keep it up. And it's not just a flash in the pan. Even with their game against Monty yesterday, we saw some good glimpses from them. Either way, we need to see a lot more than good glimpses from Tai Lu right now. Kaze has the scout. Not ideal in such an important gun round, but the bait and switch works well. It does. Mercury takes the kill, and I've seen such mad stuff oh, from Kaze on the no. scout for Advent. Oh, that's going to hurt. It hurts deep in my soul because Kaze Alex has got a 2k off the back of it. Mercury toward long, found by Wikadia as well. Another 2k for him. And Jam Young must be wondering, after the communications that probably would have come through with Advent in that position, how on earth has it fallen apart after getting that opening pick? Man, Advent was licking his lips there, rub rubbing his hands together. He was thinking in his mind, how many here? Two? Uh, looking to lead the charge here. Looking to finish off the job. 
in the most dominant fashion. Yeah, Major hasn't had to do anything in this game. He's just five and five, getting the odd important kill here and there. It's Wakadia, 20 and seven, just looking oh superb. And there's a Xantara's peek towards short. They just have so much freedom now to do what they want. So much map control so quickly. Tyloo don't seem at the races mentally and perhaps individually as well. Kalex has already crept in toward B. He's about to tap down Kaze, you would think. Stuck toward ABC. It's going to be very rough for him to get away from this one. Yeah, B bombs that compromise. The only problem for Eternal Fire is that bomb is still very far away, so it's going to take a while before they're able to activate the C4. I got a fright there for a moment as the smoke faded. Kalex is in these four positions. Everything falling apart right now for Tai Lu. The writing is on the wall. Kaze will have to go astronomically huge. Ooh. That's a nice headshot coming through with the AWP. He's looking for Advent to try and get in the mix as well. They've got a smoke and they've got a kit, but their chances are slim. Very slim. The kit might be a lifeline, but it's Major Zantaris and Wikadia. And they'll absolutely be playing this one oh my. to try and finish the game here and now. Nade almost finished off Kaze. There's Zantaris with his 16th. And now they know that Kaze is low. And of course, they know exactly where he is. Zantaris finishes it off.